sick. Feeling so sick. My outrageous 300 millimeter bike called the Boost Monster has been so much fun lately. I honestly can't stop riding this thing. Sun Peaks felt amazing when I went there. In the last video you see me try out 24 inch wheels on it and that was an experience, a bit hit or miss to be honest. But now I want to put back on the trusty 26 inch wheels and ride some of the most incredible trails in Whistler. And I've been constantly learning more about this bike and what should get improved and fine tuned to make it ride better and better. Well this time around I finally got some foam tire inserts and I'm very interested in trying these and see how much of a difference they make. The rear wheel is very important to have an insert in for this bike. Huh. Did I hear it flat? Oh, it's leaking. But since I do like to have a tube in the rear, I'm gonna go with the Tannis Armor insert since they come in 26 inch and work with tubes. In fact, for these ones, you do have to put a smaller tube in than normal since you're taking up a lot of space with the foam. Installation wasn't too big of a deal. Now my front wheel is a 26 inch tubeless setup and I decided to go with a 27.5 Cushcore for it because apparently it still fits these just fine. Installation worked out pretty well. It was probably easier than normal since I didn't have to stretch it out so much. So I'm still at Whistler here for Crankworks. Joyride is in a couple of hours, so I just need to make sure I make it down in time for that. First things first, I just wanna revisit some double black Whistler downhill. I got super sketched out on one section here last time. Oh, shit. oh. That was sketch. Well, this time with the Kush Court seemed to work a bit better. Though it was still a bit sketch, but I actually think it would be pretty harsh on any bike to be honest. But you know what? I was actually starting to understand something about my fork today in relation to what kind of oil is in here and how that affects the ride. But more on that later. might be sketch. I don't know. That's pretty good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Going off trail there. Let's uh, do this. Yeah. Okay. That was not too shabby. Ah, lower clown shoes closed there with the drop. Clown shoes has one of the biggest drops in the park and I've never even been able to ride it with this bike yet, which is a shame. It would be so perfect for this. What might not be so perfect for this bike is steep, slippery rock. Oh, this rock is so freaking slippery. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, yeah. I don't know if it's a surprise to you at all, but the flow trails were not actually very awkward. They felt quite intuitive on this bike, to be honest. Ooh. So work out on your forearms. Right on, that's cool. It's hard to say how much difference the foam inserts are making, but I think they are helping a bit. Yo. Joyride is starting in about an hour and a half, so I have time for one top to bottom garbanzo run here. Let's make it count. Just bounce on it, man. Just go for it. Nice and squishy, though. Yeah. That is absurd. I mean, that's what I have been doing. I'm trying to ride as best as I can. There is something kind of addicting about this bike. For one, it's just really fun being on so much cushion. And another factor is just figuring out how many ways can you improve a bike to make it better and better, despite weird geometry.
That's fine. The conditions of these trails have been getting worse over this past month. Just getting drier, more bomb holes, dustier. So even though they're not riding the best, it feels so much better on these 26 inch wheels compared to the 24s. Uh, not quite. Wasn't quite feeling it. I feel way better on that compared to yeah, uh, compared to when I was on the 24s. I was getting squirrely. That was like so much better. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> yeah, you could hear it. Something uh, happened with my fork there. <laughs> Yo. Oh. Oh. Woohoo! I was sick. You ready? Okay. Drop it in. Oh, so smooth. Yeah, that was chill, man. Didn't even use that much of my fork. I just rolled it and... Of course, it would be fun to huck off this thing again like I did the first time, but I also don't want to risk a flat. Even though I got inserts, I guess I'm just a bit paranoid right now and, and just to be safe, I thought I'll just roll it. There's some really sick double black tech that I gotta try on this bike. Captain Safety with some big rock slabs and in deep has got some double black gnar. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to go this route. Ooh, it's just too heavy of a bike to turn left on. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That's cool. But yeah, I can do tech so much better with the 26 inch wheels. Like it's not even funny. Like it's stupid. I can believe it. Yeah. Also, just because the tires alone are just better quality tires. It almost looks like you can put a 27.5 in there. I think you can. <laughs> I, I just don't want to raise it anymore. That's fair. Oh. <laughs> you good? <laughs> Did you, do you hear it? Yeah. It was like a smack. <laughs> oh. yeah. Like, I just like launched my friend down and it was just like a harsh like smack that was interesting wasn't it and like it was just like a bit of a harsher feel like it wasn't like a plushy feel i knew it was gonna happen so one thing about suspension you may or may not know is that the kind of oil you put in can really affect the way it feels so for this super monster fork i've been using moto rex 10 weight oil and the same for my regular monster as well but at the same time i know that these marzocchi forks were always made for a 7.5 weight oil that was good Man, now I really wonder if I need to put la lighter oil in this fork. Like on some impacts, I know it's gonna feel harsh. Like you're not even going through all your travel. No, like on that, it was like here. But um, I moved it down a bit, but like well, there's a bottom out resistance like for the last inch. So you might have just a hydraulic the oil so hard correctly. that it didn't even... But it's all the way open. But Weird. it's all the way open, but what? like I don't use any of the compression right now. They're all so open. The rebound in one stanchion and compressions in the other? Um. Actually, the compression's in the lower of the rebound and then the rebound up top. The left stanchion only has the bottom out control. Oh, that's it. That's what I discovered. And yeah, so- It looks like you just like smacked the HBO and it didn't work or something. That kind of is what it felt like. 
Um, so other, my other suspicion is that like, maybe I actually need to go to a lighter oil. Like maybe there's something weird with the stiffer oil. It's not being able to like smoothly flow through and whatever. Just need to... Going to a thinner oil opens it up more. It op yeah. yeah, so testing, testing, testing. Let's see how I do on this bike. I don't even know the line. I have no idea what line to do. Now, the whole reason why I wanted to go with a bit of a thicker oil in this fork is just to see if it would slow down some of my high-speed rebound. Honestly, I don't actually know if it was really doing that much, but I do know it also adds to the compression damping as well, which I don't really need. And there's only so far you can go with thicker oil before you really start to mess up the ride and hydro lock the suspension. And you know what? I think that's exactly what was going on. So I've decided after this ride, I'm gonna be draining the oil and I'm gonna put in the 7.5 weight of the same brand, Motorex. Try that out and see how that goes. Let's do it. Like I kinda was interested in getting you to ride it for a bit and just see what you actually felt like. Yeah, it's just cause like I can't just let loose i can't open up like i'm always holding back but i've never been holding back when it comes to the flow trails this is where i go all out with this bike the suspension feels great great train feels good and of course dirt merchant has become one of my favorites on this bike and i figure it's because the suspension especially the fork is really set up better for the flow right now than it is for the tech feeling good Okay, that was so awkward. Frick. Figure if I can get good at this high center of gravity cornering, I should be amazing on my other bikes. Jordan. How's it going? Oh, it's soft. Dude. That thing's so sick. Thank you, dude. I want to see you shred that thing, man. Yeah, man, I'm going to do dirt merchant here. That's so oh. cool. How much? These are 26. I put the 26 back on. Oh. I, I ride a lot better. 24 inches are a little sketchy. Like, it was only good on, like, dirt merchant. Yeah. And, like, A-line was good, whatever. But, like, all right, let's do dirt merchant. 26-inch wheels now. Oh yes. Sick. Feeling so sick. Oh, I'm feeling smooth. Yo, send it. Yeah. That was actually so sick. That might have been the best I've ridden it so far. Like I'm really yeah, getting I, better I, at the hip. I got high on that. Like, yeah, I might have gone higher than I've ever gone on that one run. Feel of it. See what you uh, what you think. 
She's been dialed all day. So. Sick. All right, Josh's bike. Oh, his fork is a lot stiffer than his rear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, huh? What? <laughs> what is this? I know, you're so high up. Josh, your shifter is not shifting, by the way, but yeah. Josh is sending it. Yeah, Josh, you're doing good. Woo! Yeah, buddy. How was it? I feel like I'm more on top of the bike rather than in it. I know, totally. Oh, well, hey, dear. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Could you feel the fork being a little bit funny here and there? The fork felt fine. Yeah, it's really when you do like the really high speed impacts. I was having no. difficulty leaning it over though because totally, it's so high. Totally, totally. It was interesting though, I'll say that. Yeah. That one lap alone was honestly so much fun. Dirt Merchant is always such a highlight on this bike. It's awesome how well it works on there. But of course, I wanna get this bike working better on the technical trails. So after this, I'm gonna be draining all the oil out and putting in lighter oil, and I'm really excited to see what that's gonna feel like. Good lap, boys. Well, Joyride has just begun, so I'm gonna to have to cut this video off here. That was definitely a lot of fun. If you like this video, please give a like and make a comment telling me where you think I should take this bike next. Or do you have any advice for me on how I can improve this bike even more? Big shout out to my patrons who are supporting my channel. If you haven't seen the last video where I tried 24 inch wheels on here, you should really check that one out. It's pretty interesting. Thanks everyone and I'll see you guys next time.